Hello math friends, this is Mr. Bradley and this video is going to cover dividing mixed numbers and fractions. So before I show you the steps, and there are five easy steps to dividing mixed numbers, I'm going to show you a picture that it kind of explains why this is the case. So here it says how many times does one half go or one and one half go into eight? And here I have one and one half, and you can see I can put it into there, that's one. So so far it's gone in once. And I can put it in again, that's twice. And I can put it in three times. And here, if I flip it over, is four. It goes in four times. And then if I flip it over again, it goes in five times. And, whoops. Page two. It goes in five full times. And then I have like a this half left over. And most people think that uh, the answer is five and a half, but it's actually not a five and a half. Um, the answer is five. I'll slide this over. The answer is five, but that half, if you look back at this picture up here, one half is only one piece out of three that I'm dividing by, so technically it's five and one third. Because that half, even though it's a half of a whole, it's only one third of one and a half, so that's a little bit of a weird concept, but you can see why it's 8 divided by 1 and a half is 5 and a third. Now, here I have five steps to doing this mathematically without picture drawing. Okay, The first step is the same as when you're multiplying. You have to turn these numbers into improper fractions. If they're over, I mean, I'm sorry, if they're whole numbers, then you've you got to put them over 1. So the first step is turn them into improper fractions. So here, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So this is 15 fourths divided by uh, 3 halves. 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3 halves. That's the first step. The second step is the step that is different from multiplication. It's the one step that varies for multiplication. I'm going to do this one in red to make it stand out. This is when you multiply well, I shouldn't say multiply. Let me erase that. Let me say change to the reciprocal. I was going to say multiply by the reciprocal, but I'm going to say change to the reciprocal. And you might know this as, and I'll write this in blue, keep change, change. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And if you don't know what that means, then you got to watch the dividing fractions video because this is one of the steps of dividing fractions. This is the important step here in division. Um, it's the one step that makes it different from multiplication. So let me do that. I'm going to keep, keep change, change. I'm going to keep my first fraction the same. That's 15 fourths. Then I'm going to change the division and the next fraction. So I'm going to change, I kept, and now I'm changing that to multiplication, and I'm changing 3 halves to 2 thirds its reciprocal by flipping the, switching the two numbers. So I kept, and then I changed, and I changed. That brings me to the third step, which is reduce if you can. You're going to check your corners. Right, if you can. You can't always, but sometimes you can. So let's see. You're going to check your corners. I'll look at 15 and 3. Those are both divisible by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then I'll look at the other two numbers, 4 and 2. They're both divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I've reduced. Step four, multiply straight across. At this point, it's set up as a multiplication problem. Once you once you change it to a multiplication problem in the second step, and then you just follow the steps of multiplying. You reduce, you multiply, and 5 times 1 is 5, and 2 times 1 is 2. And then the final step, just like in multiplying, is simplify, where you want to... You want to look to see, did I miss anything to reduce? You've got to reduce it again if you can. I can't reduce this again, but I can turn this into a mixed number because the top number is bigger than the bottom. So 2 goes into 5, 
twice, and that makes four, so there's one half left over. So those are the five steps to dividing mixed numbers. Now, if I go back to this one, I'll show you how these five steps would work to solve this without a picture. We already know the answer is 5 and a third. So here I'm just going to do keep that as 8 over 1. That's keep. And then uh, dividing by, i got to change this to an improper fraction. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 halves. Now I'm going to do, that's the first step, make into improper fractions. Second step is keep, change, change. So I'm going to keep 8 over 1. I'm going to change the division to multiplication. And I'm going to change the two, 3 halves to 2 thirds. So I kept and then I changed, changed. Now, third step is reduce if you can. I can reduce. Nothing reduces. So that brings me to the fourth step, which is multiply. 8 times 2 is 16. And 1 times 3 is 3. So now I've done, whoops. So I've changed to improper fractions. I've kept change, change. I multiplied by the reciprocal. I didn't, I couldn't reduce. I multiplied straight across. Now I just need to simplify it by writing it as, whoops, I keep going all over the place. Well, let's see, 3 goes into 16 5 times, and there's only 1 left over, because it's 3 times 5 is 15, so it's 5 and a third, and you can see how it's the exact same answer I got before with my picture. I'll just do a few examples here. Actually, I'll just do one more example. Uh, you can pause it and try it yourself if you like. <clears throat> or you can do some of the many examples that are on my website. So, first step: make into improper fractions. Three times eight is twenty-four. Plus one is twenty-five thirds. Divided by two times seven is fourteen. Plus one is fifteen. Fifteen halves. I'm going to keep change change now. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So, keep this at five thirds. Change this to times, multiply by it, the second number's reciprocal, which is 2 fifteenths. And then I'll see if I can reduce. I can. 5 goes into both of those. 5 goes into 25 5 times, and it goes into 15 3 times. That's the only thing I can reduce. 5 times 2, so I'm multiplying now, is 5 times 2 is 10, and 3 times 3 is 9. And then... 9 goes into 10 once, and there's only one ninth left over. That's all there is to it. It just requires some practice, and it requires the ability to do this when you're dividing and not do this when you're multiplying. So, hope this helps you, and whoops, I'll see you in class.